is the form sale of business property and when you're when you're looking at a business this kind of comes down to the bookkeeping situation again because when they make large purchases capital investments then you typically have to put them on the books as an asset that means you have to also deal with depreciation schedules and when they sell assets then now you've got a situation where you've got a sale of business asset we've got to kind of figure out the gain or loss on the sale of the business asset one other thing to just touch on which we'll talk more about later we said that we could have a gain or loss so remember that this like what if i started a business and it lost money uh if i went back on over and i said okay what if my schedule c business here lost money lost money i'm gonna say okay let's say the expenses were actually uh forty thousand so we lost ten thousand dollars so if i go back on over schedule c income minus expenses well expenses are greater than the income i have a loss can you do that uh first of all are losses good or bad in reality they're bad we our business lost money although that often happens for startup businesses and and if the investment results in revenue in the future that could be good but many businesses end up losses and businesses go under and that happens but for taxes it could be good because we might be able to pull the loss over and if we had w-2 income for example we maybe you can take the the loss against the income bringing our w-2 income down by the loss now to the ninety thousand from the hundred thousand now the iris is going to be quite skeptical as you could expect with people claiming losses on the schedule c so, if, so you've got to make sure that you actually have a valid and justifiable loss you're not talking about a hobby that you have that you <laughs> you're writing off as a loss as a as a business or something like that uh and and that it's an actual calculation of the loss uh so we'll dive into that possibly when we get into the schedule c area but just note that that you know could that could happen quite possible that you have a business started a business the business had a loss and you could have a tax you know, benefit or uh from a, a loss but again the iris you can imagine is going to be more skeptical you would think if you were an auditor and someone's writing off losses you're going to go i don't know about you know you might you know dive into that in a bit more detail so like i say we'll talk more about schedule c stuff in a future section